Hi, everyone, and welcome to the special simulcast of the Neil Haley Show and the Love Is Podcast. I'm excited to welcome the host of the Love Is Podcast, Kim Sorrell. Kim, how are you? And I know you're excited about our guest. I'm excited about our guest. I've got some questions I want to know from this guy. Richard Ryan, director, but you've acted, you've done so much in the film industry, which always fascinates me, how people get into film to begin with. And so you've got the Art of Deception, the uh, Fortune 500 Man, some great things in your pocket. And so Hi. welcome to the show. Thank you so much for being with us today. Yeah, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. So, so you, Richard, so, yeah, go, go Kim, sorry. I was just going to say, okay, so, you know, I'm, I'm old. You look like you're 25 years old. And I, I know that you were into sports, into whatever in school um, and whatever you did, how did you transition into this life that you have now? Well, I, uh, so I started acting in, in high school and, uh, and doing some film as well, acting for the camera and a uh, bunch of theater. Um, I, I always had a knack for, knack for, for performing and creating. And um, I've, so I've, uh, always play sports always been an athlete and then um so after college I knew I needed to get down to LA and uh pursue um pursue acting so I, I got down to LA where I am right now and um I've been down here for about about 16 years now I'd say and I I started auditioning and I booked a couple of things but then I really had this this huge desire to to create and um and with an idea and a story and I found uh that the medium of which combined all the the team building that I've been used to as far as like building teams and creating by myself certain games or with others as well different classmates or family and um and of course acting so uh the, the perfect medium was, was, was making a film and I've always been drawn to, to acting and, and making movies as well. So it, it was, uh, it was a good fit. So I, I started with the, uh, an idea and wrote the script and then I found the, the locations, the actors and um, shot it, edited it, uh, market it, took it through the whole process. And uh, that I did my first short film and then, I really enjoyed the process. It was challenging. It was fulfilling. Um, I learned a lot. So I continued to, to want to, uh, then I just continued making more films and then um, acting in them myself. Uh, Cause I, I love playing different characters and um, I just wanted to get the ball rolling and, and uh, get out there and, and play all these different characters. And of course also create opportunities as well and and uh share the process with a lot of amazing ambitious people and so i, you know I just caught yeah. the bug and continued with it absolutely you know you richard when i start thinking about this i guess now i'm getting the uh movie bug in a way first i'm a former professional wrestler who's making a comeback into pro wrestling and i'm I'll start my fundraising next week for a documentary time on my whole story so from my story of the comeback from you know starting to work out to going and doing independent pro wrestling shows all the way to like kind of recreating everything. But through that process, the direct, the uh, producer I met who has a production company, other movies have come my way to start pitching to him and fundraising. Okay. So I'm seeing this fun thing going on, right? Because yeah. there's such a need for content. I was talking to somebody, Chris Malky today, and he flat out told me, he said, dude, this is the time. And I've talked to another actor as well, Gigi Arnetta, and they both said, this is the, best time ever because there's so such a need for content it's got to feel great though isn't it richard and the yeah yeah, it, it, in it. yeah it, it definitely is great and and i uh and, and then i started in a, in a time where i mean about 16 years ago where where it was like not everybody was shooting on a shoestring zero dollar budget and just getting out there and, and shooting and filming and it's something I've always done. And um, I just, to be, uh, I made 17 short films and three features. Wow. I'm in development of my fourth feature film right now. So now I have this body of work and um, 
I, I can really put out there and market it and, 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 and it, it can increase sales. So it can, I can accumulate larger budgets for, for the move for the next projects moving forward in a time where um, it's, it's very, it's, it's very, uh, the industry is very independent driven now where you, you can right. do so much um, on your own. You can have a story and then take it through the process of, of developing it, production, post-production, marketing it independently. You don't have to necessarily go through a studio to control your story and get it out there and, and tell the story that you want to tell with the people that you want to tell it with and, and share um, the journey with, which is good attitudes, people with good attitudes and a sense of gratitude and true appreciation of, of being there so you can create this nice workflow and smooth environment to 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 get the job done and and um and get it out there so the masses can see and uh that's great you have a you have a pro wrestling background and and like all it's cool because all these these people from all walks of life come together and um and uh and and, and there's to join forces to make a film and to make a project and you can, there's, there's uh, pro, just pro athletes all the time transitioning into acting and telling their story. And, and uh, if you look at it f from an actor standpoint, it's, it's like you have wrestlers, you have MMA fighters, you have just um, scientists, historians. I mean, whatever the character is about um, the, these rich, characters and lives that are that are being put in, put out there and, and we're able to to experience it you know and then um everybody of course along the way of a part of the crew they all have their backgrounds and different skill sets and it's just all walks of life this trade encompasses um that all walks of life and it's a unique process making a movie in in, in that regard where um it's uh and then just for for the mission to complete the, the the film which is awesome you know you've got a a lot of stuff that you've done it seems like and not that long of a time and a couple of the things that you said really hit me like that you want to produce you want to create because you're opening the door for other people that you're yeah. giving other people parts and, and places and, you know, cast and crew. And I think that's so cool that that's your attitude. I appreciate that. Yeah. I love that. And yeah, then, I've, I've always wanted yeah. to do that. Yeah. Yeah. And then the whole independent film thing that is coming on stronger and stronger. Does it kind of just take the politics out of it? Does it just make it so you can do whatever you want and not held back by what a studio is looking for? Yeah, pretty much. Um, uh, because I, I know the studios, they have their certain guidelines and a certain formula in th that they, that you have to, and, um, a whole lot of red tape. Um, they t take a big piece of the pie and, and, and just, it kind of, um, interferes a little bit with, or a lot with the creative process. Um, but it's it's it show business there is a business as, aspect of it but a lot of times like the people involved um aren't as fulfilled as as uh as they would like to be a, a, as an artist and um because they have to compromise a lot mm -hmm. in, in in their vision and just a whole a working flow in order of of which uh they would ideally want to do so but if, if you can if you have the knowledge to be able to create a film with and take it through the process and just really know the the creative side of it as well as the business side of it you can you can plan it accordingly and uh and just really tell the story that that you want to tell and that's that's the key the story you want to tell and so tell us a little bit more, because I guess we're talking about the art of deception. Tell us about the film a little bit more without giving it away. Oh, yeah. Art of Deception is is my third feature film, and it's about uh, 
I play a scientist, former military, and I find out the truth of what the uh, the the bad sector of the government within the CIA is doing. That they create a nano chip and uh, and a virus to obtain complete mind control of the whole human population, and um, you have to take the the antidote. Otherwise, you'll you'll die in about a month. And then so um, I found out the truth of, of what they're trying to do because the, the, they're trying to um, place a chip in uh, in the heads of, of everybody for complete mind control. So anyway, I find out the truth of what they're trying to do. And then I'm um, they, they kidnap my wife. I, I escape with the schematics. And when they kidnap my wife, they 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 kidnap her, they torture her, and in, in to help to to lure me in, and uh, so I'm ultimately left with the decision: do I save the lives of billions or my own wife? Mm, oh my gosh, that is some it's very much a love story as well, as well as conspiracy involved and um and and action and suspense. So it's it's a really good story. And it's yeah. visually really amazing. And it was an awesome time filming. And I'm very grateful to be able to um, to, to do that and still continue to push it out there and market it. And it's great. Let's go yeah, see it. Yeah, no kidding. What a story. My word. The, it's the suspense and the thrill of it has just got to have people on the edge of their seats when they, when they watch it. It sounds yeah. absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I'm curious. I do have a question for you. The the movies, where can people see the movie? Like, how does that work? So right now, people can okay. go to oxfilms.us. That's my website, O-X-F-I-L-M-S dot U-S. And um, it's all, all my films are on there. And uh, Art of Deception, can, it's, there's a link to Tubi, which you can go on Tubi to watch the film. And then also Amazon and a couple of other different platforms too. But those are the main two. Yeah, that's that's so cool. I've always been curious, Richard, what percentage of making a movie is actually filming and with with actors and what percentage is the before filming even happens and after filming with all with editing and and marketing and all of that? That's uh, that's a real good question. Um I would say about I would say about uh, uh, five to ten percent. If if because uh, there's a lot of uh, maybe even less, you know, because uh, maybe even like three or four percent. There's a lot of pre-production, a lot of development, and a lot of post-production, a lot of editing. Um, so that percentage is actual filming. Yeah, yeah, actually. Yeah, wow, wow. I would say it's more like one to two percent, actually. Yeah. But each, each each film is a little different, though, and in the larger the budgets are, you you can streamline the process a little more. I know they still have the complications, but um, you can get through the development phase quicker in filming. You can spend more time on that, and the post production phase can can be uh done quicker as well too. So that's that's the whole um, purpose of really trying to find work in bigger budgets. And, and that's what I'm trying to do now. Just really get out there and, and, and push art deception on my current film so I can accumulate even a larger budget. So, uh, exactly. yeah, just, the process is a lot smoother. It's all about the fundraising. It's all about raising the funds and then get it and then and market it. And, and it's almost like the author process of an independent author going through the same process, but you own control, yeah. you have creative control and you go for sure. Kim has a final question right. that involves love. Go ahead, Kim. Yeah. I think this is a really appropriate question for you, Richard, because uh, I can just feel your heart. So I, I dedicated a year to figuring out the true meaning of love. I wrote a book, Love Is, and the things I found out about love blew my mind. And it seems to me that love plays a part in the work that you do. And I think probably, I don't know, you're going to, you have to love it um, because it, it can't be easy. It's got to be hard work, but 
more so for the people that you work with. So I'm just curious, overall question, like wh where does love play a part in, in what you do? Love plays a huge part because you have to really be passionate and love what you're doing. And, um, and you're going to go through challenges and I've been through a lot of different challenges and, and you have to make some tough decisions sometimes. And, and there's certain sacrifices along the way, but, um, and, and there's, there's new knowledge there's that have to, that has to be obtained and, uh, just different circumstances that you have to get through and, and keep your focus and, in and, 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 and the love of what you're, what you're doing, what I'm doing, the passion there is going to help navigate and, um, me through everything and be able to just, uh, continue the process and, and get the job done and not give up. And, um, just, uh, yeah, then, you know, everything could be going wrong and, there's just that desire, that love that just like gets you up and say like, Hey, let's, let's figure this out. And then you, you, you continue the journey. And, uh, it's big too, because ever since I started making films, that's one of the, the key things that I had going for myself is, is the passion that I've had when the conviction that, that, that I talked about this vision, um, and, and, and people, even when I had no budget at all, and when I first moved down to LA and just uh um there was the love, there was the conviction, and then all of a sudden I accumulated all these uh, amazing people because they wanted to be a part of what what I was uh was talking about, the vision. And and it my love sort of was 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 infectious. Um and uh and, and they saw it, they recognized it. And so that brought us all together and under the umbrella to, to make the story to film. And we went through challenges and people from all walks of life, but, but just the, the, the core that just brought everybody in is, is the love, the passion, the, the desire to, to, to be there and, and working towards this goal, this mission together. And, um, and you, you just get up and you make it happen. And, and that's exactly what I did. And, you know, I'm going to continue doing it. Well, you seem very passionate, Richard, and you keep going with different movies and different projects. I definitely want to get, take the acting courses after my documentary so I can learn more. So yeah. where, where, where can people go real quick? Check out the film one more time. Go to Tubi and go to Amazon. And then if you want to check out all my films, um, I go to oxfilms.us, O-X-F-I-L-M-S dot U-S. And then you can see all my films and behind the scenes, uh, red carpets and behind the scenes making of documentary, which you can learn a lot and see the process. And um, yeah, if, if you, like you said, you're a wrestler or whatever, you are whatever your background is um use it lean into it your, your strengths your 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 passion um it, those things that come easy to you don't don't just discredit it just lean into it and continue evolving that skill set and learn new skill sets also and that's it's going to help um you uh you just become a better overall person, but it's going to help you in the field of, of acting and, and making films because you're just constantly learning and evolving and improving. Oh, absolutely. That happens when you, you do that, things happen. That's mm -hmm. why to get involved in films, right? The media giant has to be in films too. So there you go. You know, we've got the podcast and television radio. Now it's time for films and documentary and then raising money for big time films, hopefully. So we'll definitely stay in touch. Appreciate oh, yeah. it, Richard. Thanks, Kim. Yeah, thank you very much. All right, guys, that was the special simulcast of the Neil Haley Show and the Love Is Podcast, guys. Take care. All right, take care. Thank All you right. so much, Richard.